Good afternoon. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Are you nervous? Uh, a little bit. Okay. Thank calm, you. Calm down. I read your resume and cover letter yesterday. Mm -hmm. Then I found that you are majoring in English, edu English language education at Korea University. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Um, how is Professor Silver getting along with it? Uh, getting along these days. I learned, <laughs> I learned him from Korea University too. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You make me really comfortable. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. And <laughs> give, give my best regards to him. Okay. Then let's start to interview. Uh, if I employ... Ah, okay. I'm an interviewer. Uh, and I'm an English teacher in the school. Okay. Mm. If I employ uh, you as an English teacher, mm, what kind of teacher do you want to be? My ideal teacher is both capable and being friendly to students. This idea actually came from my experiences from two teachers that I learned in middle school and high school. One of them were science teacher and she was really capable and her explanation was really clear to me that one day she told us that uh, I like students who get really good grades rather than hanging out with friends day and night so I wanna, I wanna divide it into two groups like one is for good students one the other is for bad students and I wanna like only the former groups because they deserve it and she said that it is right but I think it was really wrong even though she was really good literally good teacher but actually I was favored by that teacher even I got a birthday card from her but I started to dislike her as a teacher and the other teacher was when I was in high school. He was a history, Korea history teacher. Actually, he was a really good-natured person, but her his explanation was not that good. So at that time, I I usually felt there is something missing. And one day, he yelled at people, yelled at students, one of their one of his students, and. Well, some of my friends start to dislike him because we thought that he was really a good-natured person, but he didn't like that. So after those situations, I learned that teachers should be both capable and being friendly to students. Okay. Uh, I believe you can be a good teacher. Thank you. Mm, okay. Next question. Mm, if uh, when you're in uh, when you're in high school or middle school. Uh, do you have a, do you ha did you have the teacher that you respected? Uh, there is one teacher uh, that one I teacher? respected. Uh, then please explain mm -hmm. the teacher. Uh, actually, he was my homeroom teacher when I was third grade in high school. As you know, third grade in high school in Korea is pretty tough. And one of his hobby was taking pictures with students. So Sometimes we took pictures together during breaks. So it was really good to me. And at the graduation day, usually he didn't express his emotion in front of us. But at graduation day, he cried a lot in front of us. So it was really impressive. So we started to cry also. And our, even our parents started start to cry. And it was pretty good good memory for us and whenever we gather together and talk about teacher, wow, well, he was really a good natured person and I miss him so much. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, everyone tried to make a motto and they uh, follow the motto. Uh, what is your motto in your life? My motto is capacity never lacks the opportunity. If I get ready, to any kinds of situation, then whenever the chance comes, then I can grab the chance. I believe like that. Even though the, that is my favorite maxim, but still, it's really hard to perform. And it's still hard to take an action about that. But I believe this maxim. Okay. Okay. Mm. 
As your resume says, you graduate, uh, you graduated from uh, Daegu Foreign Language High School yes. and you learned Chinese and Japanese. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, can you explain yourself in Chinese or <laughs> Japanese? <laughs> short, short. <laughs> okay. First thing, Japanese. はじめまして、私は私の名前は韓国人と申します。今、ホリオ大学を主任されて英語の専攻をしております。私の趣味は英語を見ることと音楽関係です。私はいつか英語の先生になっていつか韓国の先生になっていつか韓国の先生になってい
in, in, my, in my school, uh, it is very generous to the teacher who want to study more. Uh, for example, if you want to study uh, in foreign foreign country and if you want to prepare uh, another another exam like uh, another exam, mm, we uh, uh, my principal will consider your your opinion and. If you want, uh, ask my principal, then uh, my principal will respect your opinion and permit mm -hmm. you to study more. Mm. Then mm, uh, you can uh, then you can be off uh, for one year, uh, one year, and you can study more. But you can get any more. Uh, you can get you can uh, you couldn't I uh, can not get any money. And <laughs> cannot get any money. And <laughs> can, um, if you go back to school, uh, you will be uh, you will be in charge of a class. Uh, it will be very hard, but you must. Uh, then one more question. Are there any differences between home learning teacher or the subject teacher? Okay. Mm, home uh, home learning teacher is more difficult. Then, a uh, subject teacher. Uh, if you uh, if you are a new teacher, uh, you have a meeting uh, with the parents of your students uh, at least once a month. So you will discuss some problems about the students or school. And uh, in my school, uh, all of the stu uh, students studies until 11 o'clock. 11 11 p.m. p.m. Uh, so you will supervise your class until same time. So you will, uh, your finishing time will be late, and uh, your finishing time will be late. But uh, then uh, instead of you will get extra money about the three hundred thousand won, and you will get some points. Uh, it will help you to promote to principal. Oh really? Okay. That's all. Thank you for responding to my question. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.